y'all. We're about to get in trouble. Trouble! Heading trouble. into home goods. Trouble in my way. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry sometimes. So much trouble. Trouble in my way. I have to cry sometimes. I have to cry Now you just automatically knew 
that you were not to be in there looking Sin looking in grown folks mouth yes exactly That's no right. yeah so we were all back in the room and I remember her grandma coming back up to the room uh, come on I'm gonna make up a name I can't even remember the little girl. I can't remember you remember her name yes don't say a thing I don't remember though I'm gonna make up a I'm gonna make up a name uh Come on, um, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. Come on, Fiona. You back here with these girls. They'll be done taught you something. And Fiona was teaching us. Fiona, everything. oh my God. Fiona was so fast. But I'll tell you day. why Fiona knew so much and was teaching us so much. Because Fiona's grandmother, the pastor's wife, wife was an alcoholic. The biggest drunk you ever seen. And so when grandma would be drunk, she would no longer be the pastor's wife. She would be her alter ego. Mm -hmm. And that's where Fiona was learning all that she was teaching us. Oh my But the gosh. grandmother would come and say, oh. As if we were gone. And we were sweet little girls. Mm -hmm. Fiona us, was teaching us. Us and our cousins. We had to have a uh, the female cousins that are around the same age as us and we were always together always together two of them and two of us and we we always were together in a group of four and this little girl Fiona would come Fiona knew stuff we had that we didn't know <laughs> but every time I think about that you know I, I'm not trying to be ugly but Fiona's little drunk grandma <laughs> made me mad. Who was the pastor's the wife? The pastor's wife. Oh my gosh. You know, and then the pastor himself, God rest his soul, but he was abusive to the grandmother. Mm -hmm. They just had Which caused the grandmother to embellish. And so. You know, that's why it's important that you follow the message and not, not the messenger. But let, to, to auntie's babies that are out there that are sitting and listening to us, because we have our auntie's babies. Hey, auntie babies. Hey, auntie's babies. Let that be a lesson to y'all. Never, never, ever, ever be jealous of what you think you see. In somebody else. Never. It could ever. be totally opposite and different of what you, you think, think it is. is. Now, Shonda and I just ran into Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Hey, Keisha. Let us show y'all our picture we just took with Keisha. And we were so glad to meet you, Keisha. It was so nice. She, she had, had on the prettiest orange sundress. With that pretty melanin skin. Her skin was beautiful. Yes. Her hair was beautiful. The most beautiful smile and personality. But we stopped and we she approached us and we chit-chatted. And um, friends of the twins, what you see is what you get. Sometimes I think about, uh, you know, like on our YouTube channel... I don't want anyone to think that anything that we do is perfect. No. Like our house. Like, I wish my house would stay perfect. But it doesn't because other folks live there. Well, soon to be. It's just going to be me and Shuggy. Yeah. I told y'all I'm about to be an empty nester. I can't believe it. I'm so glad. Yeah. Rick has never been an empty nester before. Never, ever, 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 ever. And I have. So, I know that. I was so excited when I first became an empty nester, but then, it's really true, I began to miss my kids. I did. I mean, I'm going to miss her. I know I will. This last one that is leaving is actually the middle child, and she's 25. Yeah. She's never left, but she's leaving home now. She's 25. But, but you know so. what the great part about it is? They'll all be here for Christmas. So my daughter, the one that lives in Japan, and my son in love, and my G-baby, Raya, they are coming home for Christmas. All of the kids are coming home for Christmas. So it is going to be absolutely freaking fantastic. 
yeah, you know, y'all, I uh, I miss mine too. I wish, and I talk about this all the time. I've talked about it with Shuggy, and he looked at me as if I had lost some fruit loops. <laughs> I've told Shonda, I really do mean it. I wish, like we have two and a half acres of land. If we had more land, I would want all, all of the them. kids to yeah. be able to stay on the land. We just have a family compound. Now, I don't want them in the house with me, but I would want them close by. Close by all around. We all on the same family land. Yeah. I think that would just be fabulous. Yeah. You never know. I mean, one you day. You just never, never know. You, you, you're you right. You just never you know. You never know. I you never know. God has things plans. He'll give you exceedingly and abundantly. Above all you could ever, ever think that you would have. That's that's another little something for our aunties, babies. Yes. So what we're gonna do now, friends of the twins, is we're gonna go ahead and pull out of here, out of this darn parking lot, because there was probably one thing that no, I'm not. I'm real bad about seeing something, not getting it, and then going back. For you know what? But when she's with me and she starts that, I make her get it because I know her. It'll be the that night she'll call me or text me. Why did you let me leave that? You you knew that I wanted to get as if I. <laughs> Y'all don't know the trouble that ring gives me. Mm. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna get on out of here, mosey our way on home, and we are going to share with y'all in a decor haul what we have found. So now y'all just hang in there with your girls and we'll see you in a little bit. So here is the much awaited haul that we were talking about earlier when we were riding in the car. We finally made it back from shopping and getting in <laughs> trouble. Oh my gosh. And now we're going to show you some things that we have received as well as bought recently. This is probably a collective haul over how long? Like, ah, uh, well, I, I've been collecting stuff for months. At least three months since she's been doing her renovations. And this is just a mini, mini, mini haul of things that i have bought i mean yeah oh honestly friends a lot of the things that shonda has bought you all will see when we do a reveal room tour, or reveal mm -hmm. because she's already hung them up or placed them mm -hmm. you know she just has to keep moving forward to get in order to get it all done i think we're going to go ahead and start with some things that we have from Shein. I don't know if you all know that Shein has a home decor section. A lot of you probably know. They have more than shoes and clothes and purses and jewelry. They absolutely do. Mm -hmm. So we're excited to share Shein home decor. So I'll get started. Uh, the first thing I wanna show you all is this, voila. This is, isn't that pretty? This is a cutlery set. This is the six piece set. Serving ladles and the forks and the cake server, everything. And I won't take them all out of the wrapping, but friends of the twins, these are heavy weight. They're heavy. These, this is a very nice quality. So we were pleasantly surprised. Yes. That and I think you all will be pleasantly surprised too once you go on Shein.com and look at their home decor items. All right, the next thing I want to show you is from Shein as well. And it is, voila, an electric salt and pepper grinder set. And it's battery operated. I'm so happy to get this. Of course, you add your salt, uh, whether it's iodized salt or sea salt or whatever salt you want. You put it in as well as the pepper. And this button, once you put the battery in, you push this button and it will come out. So it will automatically dispense. It automatically dispenses. And again, this is a nice quality. It has a little weight it to it. It has a little it. weight to it. Mm -hmm. It's stainless steel and black. I think this is the only color that it came in but it's it's kind of heavy y'all so this is my last she and piece so 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 excited about it this is a bedspread and it comes i got it in a king size now she in sizes uh, come in centimeters so this is two 
229 by 229. They do have some of them that kind of come in 229 by 234. But if you just press, look at the guide, the size guide that they have on the website, it'll help you to determine if you want twin, full, queen, or king. So this is the king size bedspread. And it also comes with two pillow shams. It is in the color olive green. It also comes in white. Rhonda has a white set. I have this exact same set. Exact same set in white. Now, what we plan to do with this bedspread and the two shams, we'll be taking it to my mom's house. We're getting ready to redo her home and we're for the start fall. With the bedroom. And mm -hmm. we're going to start with the bedroom. So I, I'll be taking this to her. If you're somebody that likes to be cozy yeah, and like warm, boo daddy and yes, sugar. Boo daddy and sugar love to be snuggled up. Snuggle down in the covers to their nose. You can't see anything but their nose. Uh, but if you are someone that likes to be warm, I would advise you to put a blanket under this. It's not a thick bedspread. So, but if you like me and Rhonda, and sometimes we go through our little summer flashes, <laughs> uh, this is perfect for me. So that's gonna conclude our Shein items. And now we're gonna move to home goods. And we also have a couple of things that are from thrift store. Mm -hmm. I was in Home Goods, and y'all know that we're getting ready to be empty nesters, and I happened to run across some storage items, and these were just absolutely perfect for my daughter. These are the wrap dispensers, you know, for your aluminum, aluminum foil, foil, your saran wrap. Mm -hmm. And she has two of them. Have two of these. I love, love, love these. And they were $9.99. Is that the bamboo one? It might be, but you know, I it have- It is bamboo, bamboo. construction and eco-friendly. And sticking with organization, I'm gonna be redoing my medicine cabinet. Now, I have just about gotten the house how I want it. There are a couple of other little projects that Sugar and I have on the radar but it is getting pretty close to the time where I want to start getting the house organized because Friends of the Twins is not organized. Like some of the drawers are, but it's not how I want it to be. Right. You know, so I'm gonna start with the organization and I picked up these. I picked up four of these and this was probably three weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And I'm actually gonna use these in my medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. And these were $14.99. And yeah, and I, it's the funniest thing to me. I'm excited to get to the organization part. I feel like when I get to the organization, that the house will truly be complete then. Mm -hmm. And so I'm, I'm excited, you know, excited to get to that part. And although, I mean, it's difficult for me because I work a lot, but keeping things organized is the best way for me to function day by day. Now I'm working yes. on it. I was sharing with Rhonda yesterday evening that I was in the house. It was raining hard here in our area. So I was raining and I, it was raining and I was sitting on the kitchen floor. I had pulled out all my pots and pans and I was just adding new paper to the the cupboards and putting mm -hmm. things together and organizing my lids and pots and all types of things. It really does help it's, you to it's function. Therapeutic. It's therapeutic. Mm -hmm. And it, it just, it looks good and it feels better when things are organized. I want to say a special hello to Barbara W. She and I had a nice conversation the other day and we were talking kind of along these lines, talking about how, how, it, important it is to somebody mm -hmm. like us mm -hmm. to have the house organized for it to be clean and pretty that's that's what we yeah. like people find peace in different ways and in different things and, and if, so, if you're more of a homebody like we are. especially like to just walk around in your nice lounging clothes with a nice cup of coffee or mm -hmm. water or whatever it is just walk from room to room looking at things and admiring your hard work uh your physical work if you go to a job you can see where your money went some of you may remember me saying that i want to slowly begin to integrate more black into my home mm -hmm. When I was at my other home, if you remember, my kitchen cabinets were black. 
my island was black. I just, I miss the black. And so I'm gonna slowly begin to integrate black into my home and hopefully with the styling and all, it will just stay. It's <laughs> not really something that I'm considering being just a fall look only. I really do want to integrate black in and have it become more of a permanent color here in the house. Right. So minding my business, strolling along home goods. We were together, right? And we were. And oh, this spoke to and my heart. I, I spotted them and I said, <laughs> I didn't even see them. She didn't even see them. She was standing this close to them and she didn't even see them. Snake it would have bit me. Mm-hmm. But oh, did it speak to my heart. It is these. These are the black and white foam flowers. Y'all have seen us with the white wreaths that made her foam. We mm -hmm. also have white foam flowers. But this black and white, oh my gosh. There are three stems. And they were $14.99. These are going to go in the kitchen, I believe. I'm not really sure. I think that they will go in the kitchen. You may see two of these stems in the kitchen mm -hmm. and then one somewhere else, maybe here in the living room. Oh, y'all know, y'all know, y'all know I'm a flower girl and I'm so excited to have these. So next, in keeping with the black and white, these next items that I'm gonna share with you, they are seasonal and they are probably I mean, I, I don't want to never say never, but y'all, I don't need any more <laughs> fall decor. Do you? Like no. Pumpkins. I'm, I have said I'm not going to buy any pumpkins this year. Have enough. Have enough. I'm not going to buy any new napkins. I bought them last year. Pumpkin napkins. I'm not buying any of that type of thing. But these, I went ahead simply because they are in line with the black and white color that I want to bring in. Mm -hmm. And it was these kitchen towels. I think that they are so It'll be really pretty. pretty for the fall. Yeah. And they also have one towel that is a black and white stripe. I think these are so pretty. I love the colors in them. Mm -hmm. These were a set of three and they were $9.99. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. the kitchen towels is another thing that I don't need. She always, always always buys a set of kitchen towels every time we go in home visit. But you know what? One thing that Shonda and I have both been doing, I think I have a little bit more recently than she has, but she does too, is giving things to our kids. My daughter that's moving, I'm already packing a box for her. It's just the things that she kind of is used to having and has voice that she wants and it's just easy for me to send her, you know, send some things with her. And of course, you know, my daughter lives right across the driveway in her tiny house. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to go and give her things. She just comes over and if she sees something that she needs, she feels as if it's community property. And so she just <laughs> takes it on with her. I know Shonda and Boo Daddy were telling me the other day that they had gone to and gotten them a sub sandwich. Yes. Foot long each. We always get a foot long and then we eat half of it. And the next day we'll get together and we'll eat that other half. So we came in from work the next day and <laughs> opened the fridge and there was my sandwich. So I pulled it out and I'm prepping it, getting ready to eat it. And I'm waiting on him. Babe, he didn't have a sandwich. Shonda says she'll creep through. It could be two, three o'clock in the morning. She'll creep through and just take what she wants. The reason why she likes to get his is because he likes a lot of things on his for, for the taste. And mine are just kind of plain and simple. So she just gets what she thinks is the better of the two <laughs> and eats them. Now these next two items are things that I almost, y'all hear me say, I couldn't walk away. I tried to. She did try and I, and I know her, as I've told you all before, I just keep on encouraging her to buy it because when we get home, she will call me at midnight or the next day and say, why did you let me? As if it's my fault. It was these, now I, I got these probably two months ago. I want to say, it's been a while. Right? Yeah, it's been it's over been a month, two, I know. Two mm -hmm. months ago. This was just something that I just could not leave. Look, look, look. These, so it's like a champagne gold. 
peacock tray. I figured that these would be beautiful as decor or even at, even as serveware Serve as we're coming up on, on the, the holidays. holidays. Yeah, we, the you'll peacock. see them in use. It's a pretty gold. It's, it's looks very classy, very elegant. It's kind of heavy. A very, it appears to be very well made. And again, this is a home goods find. And the price of these were $34.99. Rhonda likes sets of things. <laughs> I used to be really bad about having everything, something that I like in multiple in colors. In multiple colors, yep. She does shoes like that. <laughs> but I think that these are just so pretty. They are pretty. Well, as you all know, that fall is fastly approaching. So I have begun to think about what I'm going to be doing around the house when I in home goods with Rhonda and stumbled upon these beautiful fall flowers. The cost of them $12.99. I have an idea. I only bought one of them because I just have an idea of what I want to do with them. But I'm not going to say it because Rhonda, Rhonda, Rhonda will be helping me. Of course, she's the flower queen and the flower arrangement expert. So she'll be helping me to do with these what I have in my mind. Now, more than likely, she will tweak it and change it and all of that. But I don't <laughs> care. We like the florals from Home Goods. More often than not, they're going to be long stems. Mm -hmm. and, and they're so, good quality. They, they kind of yeah. remind you a lot of the Hobby Lobby floral stem. Now, friends, this next item that I want to show you, it will be going into what I call my adult lounge. And do you all have a treat in store for you? We're going to be sharing that room really soon all, all you know that shauna has been doing it began with new flooring throughout and it just kind of snowballed from there the thing about it is i my husband and i were talking me and boo daddy and we were saying that now five years in is when we're really able to go in and do the things that we want to do in the house yes. in the beginning. But y'all, when I tell y'all, we were running too mm -hmm. in our house. And many of you have probably heard me say before, when we bought the house, we had structural foundation issues mm -hmm. and AC issues. We had real work issues. So now, after all these years, we're able to go in and do the things yes. that we really wanted to do to the house. So the room that I have transformed into a lounge many of you have seen before it is the room where my daughter my grandbaby and my son in love would stay when they would come for a visit and it was a bedroom then it was the garage room now i have transformed it and you will be seeing it soon but this piece that i want to show you is going in there this will give y'all an idea of the kind of vibe it is not for kids. It's not for kids. It is the focus is for grown-ups who work hard and have worked hard and want to just enjoy themselves at home. You want to entertain other adults and all of that. But this is a beautiful wine decanter that I fell in love with. I have never seen this before. It sits just like this. You Mouth. wine connoisseurs out there. Maybe yeah. we have some 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 uh, sommeliers, you all can maybe help us with this. But anyway, this is a beautiful wine decanter. It is absolutely stunning. I had never seen one shaped like this before. I was shocked and surprised. It was only $19.99. And when you go in there, friends of the twins, you get a grown and sexy kind of vibe. It is definitely letting you know that it is no longer baby bed and <laughs> it had a baby bed and yeah. baby bubbles and baby bath and everything and now don't y'all worry but everybody who, who has seen nana's baby and my granddaughter chris you guys have fallen in love with her there is another area at the house another bedroom for yes. them they do so. have another bedroom mm -hmm. this next item I just told y'all I wasn't going to buy a lot for fall, and I'm not. I'm not buying pumpkins, none of that. This was probably the extent of the pumpkins this year. I promise y'all, I'm not buying any new pumpkins well, and all that this let, year. Let, 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 let me just interject here. Now, this next item that Rink is about to show you all, she put it in the buggy, as she always does, or the cart at Home Goods, And we always say that we're going to let it ride. 
She let it ride. Y'all know about letting it ride. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> we get close to checkout time. I'm not going to get that. So she hands it to me and tells me to put it up on a shelf. So I put it on a <sighs> shelf. We check out and we leave. Unbeknownst to me. I tossed and turned all night. She, that trouble that we sang about, the, that's that's so fitting for her. She had trouble in her way. She <laughs> had to cry some time and got up the next day while I was at work and went back and got it. And it was still there because I made sure to be there early because I kind of knew where we left it. Now, it wasn't where we left it. So, so guess what she did? She walked the store two and times and had almost claimed defeat when she happened to just look down. down. And let me just say, I love things like this. She does too. I do. I really do. I do. I will use this beyond fall season. All the I time. I don't care. I'll mm -hmm. use it. I absolutely love this. It is this. A beautiful cake plate. Mm -hmm. You got it? Is this the topper is here? heavy and it has a little acorns on has the top. little beautiful acorns gold on the top and definitely fitting for fall but your girl I, i'm gonna use my cake plate whenever i want to and you need to put a nice red velvet cake in there for me how much was this is the price on that no the price is not on it but i distinctly remember because she had oh, me to is. put it back what is it Mm-hmm. $39.99. Wood. At first I was like, that is a beautiful cake plate, but do I want it in wood? Because I've had so much gold and all. And yes, friends and twins, I wanted it in the wood. I brought it home and I set it on the counter. And it is beautiful in the kitchen. It is. It's, it's very beautiful, beautiful in the kitchen. kitchen. Yeah. yeah. And as you incorporate even your black in there, that is going to just flow right along with you. And the thing about us is like, we we use our serveware. I I typically keep a cake plate out at all times. With, and you you will find cakes in there all the time. That's how I am at home. I, I like to keep, if I have a cake plate sitting on the counter, it's not just sitting there for looks. Mm -hmm. There is a cake or some kind some of pie kind of or pastries. cookies or pastries of some kind in it. So we use our things like that. It's just not to be brought out to say for a special occasion or a certain holiday. You know, we you know we like to use keep things out like that year round. Next thing I'm gonna share with y'all is I have been wanting these in this particular color. And so when I saw these I liked the design of them also, but the reason that I wanted them is because of the color. I think these are going to be beautiful, being that my theme is going to be black. But this is definitely something that, like I said, will go extend on into the holiday season. I can and see beyond. These. I can see these at Christmas. Eh? Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. And it is these. I've been wanting me some pretty white candle holders. Isn't that color pretty? It was just the design of them that did it for me because I have seen others in white, but I just wanted a little jazz to it. And so I like the design on these. I could see these being used, like I said, for Christmas, for Thanksgiving, for a birthday party, for an anniversary party, mm -hmm. for a baby shower. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Not that we about to have any babies. Mm -hmm. And these are the only, these are the only white candle holders that I have. And I can't even remember ever having white candles. I, I know, but these but I, are gorgeous. They're pretty, and I knew that I wanted a nice pair of white candle holders. They look heavy, but they're not that heavy. They have a little weight to them. Mm -hmm. They are wood, but they're not that heavy. They're not that heavy. So thinking again about my, my integrating the black, I had to pick up a couple of things because I really don't have a lot of black. Like at my old home, my kitchen was black. The cabinets mm -hmm. were black, my mm -hmm. island was black. So, you know, I had it that way. But so when I saw these, but I always check 
the bath section when I go to home goods because I'll use these in the kitchen as my kitchen towels. We, we you know, we use these. Mm -hmm. And not just to look pretty, we use our kitchen towels. I love the pattern of them. And what I love about them is the black and the white contrast. I mean, it's very, very vibrant. And these are super, super soft. soft. It's a set of two. And these were $14.99. So now just imagine, y'all, can I do this? Or is this not gonna really, I don't know, it may not, that may, yeah, it may be too contrasting, too much, like to layer this one and then this one on top of it. I don't yeah. think so, I, I don't think so. But, but no, this would definitely be pretty. Mm -hmm. Except if I decided to use these in the kitchen, look at that. I see which way I'm going. And then for the bathroom, I, I wanted to give the bathroom a little refresh. And I picked these up because these are the color of my existing bathroom. Bath towels and hand towels and things. It is, it is a different pattern, but it is the same color. And so, you know, the way that I do it is I have a certain set of towels, washcloths, bath towels and all for our bedroom. It's like color coded. Right. And then my daughter has a different color that she uses for her bathroom and her, you know, baths and all that kind of stuff. So I bought these more for the color because they match my existing towels and, you know, wear and tear. I haven't been able to find that pad I to find that pattern at home goods again, the original pattern. So I got these and they will correlate. And so you know, we needed some new bath towels. Mm -hmm. The cost is $24.99. It consists of two bath towels, mm -hmm. two hand towels, and two washcloths. So, you know, I've always said in home goods, you can find nice quality towel sets in sets like this at a very reasonable price. Yes, I think $25 for six towels is, is pretty good. The quality yeah. is good. These are very soft. This next item that I'm going to share, some of you may remember, if you saw our last Home Goods walkthrough when we were in Savannah, Georgia, then you will remember these. Now, you, there used to be a time, and I remember, I remember talking to y'all about it, telling y'all that I did not have a lot of these. So, over time, I say within the last six months, eight months, when I see them, I pick them up. And so now I have enough I don't need anymore. <laughs> but if you all remember, I shared these with you. Now today, y'all heard her say, <laughs> I have enough yeah. of these, so I don't need any more. Remember that. <laughs> because. Because it ain't so. <laughs> these are 84 inches. The thing about it is here in the house, on the front of the house, there is a soffit that runs along the breakfast area and also in the bedroom that faces the front of the house. So with that, now I can get creative and I have before, but an 84 inch curtain works perfectly well there because mm -hmm. that soffit makes it be, you know, the ceiling is lower. So these are 84 inches in the gold foil. Absolutely love these. They remind me of branches on a tree. And, and, so, and the video, the picture that you see does not do these justice. They are absolutely gorgeous in person. And I tell you what I like about them. Usually Rhonda and I don't really, we don't, we don't lean towards grommet panels. Mm -hmm. Now we, not our first there choice. are some, of course, that you just, the, the fabric is beautiful or the pattern is beautiful and it happens to be grommet right. and so it just is wonderful but what i love 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 about these i actually love these grommet panels and the reason being is because this grommet is gold you can see that it's really really pretty it looks so pretty against the, the panel itself and friends these did come in silver also they were a silver foil like this home goods and they were 16.99 now, I just said that I don't need any more. This really, <laughs> this really completes my collection. I don't need any more. I did pick up these, and let me tell y'all why. <sighs> when, when, when. So, here we go. As I was saying, she, you, you <laughs> must admit that I do 
or have been supplying like my mom's house. I've already taken out one that's going to my daughter's house. And so that kind of depleted my collection a little bit and I picked up these. I don't think the word depletion. <laughs> <laughs> she picked up these and these are absolutely gorgeous. They are heavy. These are lined. They're they, lined. And they do have the grommet, but I can forgive the grommet with this pair. I love the fact that they're lined mm -hmm. and I love the pattern on. These. And so she comes over to me with these panels and she's so excited about them and yes, they're gorgeous. And not only did she have one pair, because I asked her, where are you going to put these? So she told me and when, when she told me, it's one window. But Rink. But it's a double window. Rink being who she is. She didn't get one. She got two. <laughs> Let me tell y'all why. These, I'm anticipating putting these here in the living room. This living room window is a double window. And so I don't know if I'm gonna have sheer panels with them or if I'm actually gonna hang three curtain panels, but we'll see. I do wanna make sure that the window is full and so, and then another thing, these are 96 see, see? inches. Did you hear? These are 96 inches. I like to change out my curtain panels. Just changing out the curtain panels can give me a whole new look as I go from season to season. So I like to have usually four curtain panels because there are two windows in the formal dining room. So should I want to hang these in there, you know, I'm going to have to have four panels. So I have four panels. That just gives me some versatility. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next thing that I'm going to show you, <sighs> I should have taken a page from the Rink textbook. Mm -hmm. Buy more than one just in case. So this is the very first time that I regret not buying two of them. But at the time, I didn't know what I would be doing with them. And that is this beautiful, beautiful, oh, stunningly gorgeous, very tall, heavy vase. And it is a navy royal with gold, little hints of silver. Champagne. Champagne. And I don't know how well the video is displaying yeah, it. I don't think it's doing it justice. It's not doing it justice. This thing is just absolutely stunning to me. And I wish, wish, wish that I had two of them. So friends, if y'all are ever out and you see one shaped like this, it can be the same color or it can be a solid color in the champagne or the gold or even the silver. Please let your girl know I need another one. I've always been the type, and you all have heard me say, now Shonda has teased me over the years about it. I've always been kind of a big and bold girl. I do enjoy larger home decor pieces. Her um, motto has always been go big <laughs> or go to my home. <laughs> so I do, I absolutely enjoy it bigger home decor pieces. I am a big and bold kind of girl. Speaking of big and bold, <laughs> I have been wanting these. When I when they really came onto my radar was last holiday season. I wanted them for Christmas last year. And I happened to go into the store and there was one behind the counter, but it was on hold for a lady that was shopping. And she really lucked out because the store attendant was telling me there at home goods that she had been to the store the day before and found one. And then she came into the store just a matter of minutes before I did. And she happened to find another one. She looked up on another one. And also 
Sharita over at Unique by Sharita. Sharita had two of them, I believe. I think hers are slightly different than mine. Sharita's are actually like the ones that I saw last Christmas and wasn't able to get. Now this was another situation where I went into the store, I walked away. Were you with me? Yes, I was with her. She walked away and she called me and got all over me because I let, quote unquote, let her walk away without purchasing one or many of them. And I actually let two days go by and I was at work and something told me Rhonda call if they're still there asking to put put them on hold when you leave this job you go straight <laughs> there because you've been up for two nights they kept you up for two see nights. that's that trouble i happened to call they said that they were there and we can hold them ma'am for you we can hold them for two hours no need to worry i'm on my way <laughs> it is these <sighs> heavy Heavy. heavy and make me so happy. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and not only did she get one in true rink fashion, she got two of them. Yep. I got them. I love the pattern on them. These are heavy. These they are like heavy, heavy. The price on them was $79.99, which I thought was great. I thought this was a good price. I've had these now about how long? Maybe about three weeks. Maybe about three weeks. Something like that. But Now, um, will you keep them this color? You know, I don't know. I thought about that. Definitely for right now, I'm going to keep these this color because just like last year, I really do anticipate using them for Christmas. But I'm not really sure. I don't I don't know. I'll have to move them. I'm not going to be too quick to paint them. I'm going to move them room to room. You know, we always tell y'all things look different as they go room, room to room. room. So yeah. I'm going to enjoy them in this gold color. I don't anticipate painting them anytime soon. But I really, really, really do love these. And the funny thing about it, y'all, is these make... This is the first year ever, ever ever that i have had that i have had ginger jars i have bought my first ginger jars this year do you have any ginger jars no yeah well i do they're not this big and i only have one i think but my first ever ginger jars ever 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 were bought this year and i think this might do it for me i don't want to I don't want a bunch of them, but I definitely wanted these. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to really enjoy these. <laughs> the last item that I want to show you, we found at an antique shop. Uh, probably what, two weeks ago? Mm -hmm. About no, two weeks long. ago, we were out and knowing that the holidays are coming up, knowing that we love entertaining and all of and those things. And that we like using these types of things all throughout the we year. We use them all throughout the year mm -hmm. because yeah. now... Y'all have seen the breakfast in the evening video that Rhonda and I put out, me and her and Sugar and Boo Daddy. We all met and we had breakfast and it was set up as if we were entertaining many. And it was, and just, it was just the four of us. I yes. mean, with our pretty dishes and chafing dishes and everything. I mean, you, this, things like this makes you always want to Make, Make the, the life that you live a life, life that you love because life, life is short. short. You don't need a special holiday. You don't need a special anniversary, special birthday, or uh, put your good dishes away. No, we don't do any like anything like that. We use our stuff spontaneously and, and whenever we want to because tomorrow is not, not promised promise. to anybody. Mm -hmm. And these things make us feel good. It makes us feel like queens. And it makes us just remember how hard we have worked throughout the years to get here. We were at this antique shop about a week or two ago and I saw this serving set. And I actually thought it was one piece. I did too. But it's two pieces. 
their individual pieces. You can serve cornbread. You can serve <laughs> cakes on here. Fruit. I mean, so many different things you can serve on here. And you know, when you have white serving uh, platters and dishes, you can mix and mingle those in with gold, with silver, anything. So I just absolutely love these. The set was $24.99, so $25 for these two ceramic pieces. This is huge. It's, it's huge. This is cake. a nice cake plate. Yeah, you can put a nice cake on there mm -hmm. and put a nice pie on top of here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Friends, we're getting ready to wrap this haul up in keeping with my black theme, integrating more black. We were at a different thrift store. Antique mm -hmm. shop. Antique mm shop. -hmm. And I saw, actually, I didn't see them. She saw I them. I saw them again because I know what she likes. <laughs> If it had been a snake, it would have bit me because I was actually standing right beside them. But, you know, when you go into these antique stores and all, sometimes... so many things so to see. So many. Like, you have all these different vendors. There's just so many things to see. So, she pointed them out to me. And, of course, in typical rinky style, I go back and forth. Nah, I'm not going to get them. Let me think about it. Let's go to home. Now, little sister, she kept telling me, Rink, you're going to regret it. You got to get these. You yeah, because I know her. <laughs> Well, you thought that they would be pretty, right? I thought they were absolutely gorgeous. And she was the one that was on the fence. So she said, well, let's go ahead and leave here and go to Home Goods and I'll decide. And we'll come back. And I said, eh, 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 eh. Y'all, it was these. One and, of course, two of them. These are the buffet style lamps. Mm -hmm. I think that these are going to be so pretty in the breakfast area. I love them. I love the vintage gold. I love the ornate design at the base of them. I love the lampshade, lampshade itself. I love the finial on top. I just love it. Yeah, I think they're going to be pretty. So these were $24.99 each. I think that that might even wrap it up for, I don't know, I'm not gonna say, cause I'm gonna start to style, put everything out that I have in the black and white. I don't have a whole lot, but I don't want too much. I just wanna bring in little pops of black. Mm. So I don't know, we'll see. But I only have one last thing to share with y'all. Now these things that I'm going to share with you are definitely for the fall and beyond, but I did buy these with fall in mind. mind. Kind of had sugar in mind <laughs> when I got these. I love these. It is these gorgeous, warm, heavy throws. And she bought two of them, of course. That is the pattern on them, kind of like a basket weave pattern. Mm -hmm. They are so soft. They are oversized, yes. 50 inches by 70 inches. So I think that these throws are going to stay here in the living room. If not, they'll go out in the sunroom. 